Jelly Birds and Night Owls. My name is Knox, aka Mako, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Rags to Riches. So I know it's been a very, very long time since the last episode, so let me just remind you what happened. We had one puppy, Saki, who actually aged up, and the other, Amara, who didn't. I don't know why. I have not been able to figure it out, but it happened, and so that's just the way it is. Um, hmm. Ghost night at the bar. Yeah, no. No, I think I'm gonna skip. I would rather not be freaked out of my brains right now, because that would be, uh... Definitely scary. Where did Akira go? Oh, he just peaced out downstairs. And yep. Are you going to pee by yourself, dude? Is that what you're going to do right now? I'm not so sure where he's going. Oh, jeez. All these trash plants. Are you going to do the do? Or are you going to just... Okay, yeah, he's doing the do. Well, I don't know if he's doing the do, is he? Let's see. Are you going to do number two right now? Or are you just going to do number one? Hmm. He's just sitting. Well, interesting. Let's go ahead and just give him some pats. I actually missed all these dogs, you guys. It's been like... What just happened there? He just changed into some new outfit? I don't even know. But yeah, I haven't seen these dogs in so long as I miss them. Oh my gosh. Who is this? You are... Oh, jeez. Are you Saki? Hmm. Yeah, Saki. All right, so let's go ahead and hug Saki because, I mean, we're going to get rid of Saki soon. I know, I know. Why? But she's so cute, etc., etc. But she was meant for our family. We were just raising them to make sure they were good dogs. And then once they aged up to adults, we would give them to family members so that way that, you know, we could have a, a, a family of dogs throughout the whole city, basically. So let's just pick this up because we do not want any more of these disgusting trash plants anywhere else on our uh or around our lot because i'm pretty sure wait yeah we can't touch any of these <sighs> as unfortunate as that is all right so looks like this guy is actually a little bit hungry and he needs to take a shower so let's get him to take a shower first and then you'll eat because i'm pretty sure those salads aren't going anywhere right we have six left all right good and let's see, I don't know about Amara, you guys, I really, I, I wish I knew, I wish I knew just what was going on with her, because, uh, that's a little bit too bizarre for me, <laughs> honestly, like, oh, yeah, you know what, she's a puppy, and then her, oh, is she aging up, there we go, oh my gosh, finally, so Amara has grown up from a puppy to an adult dog, okay, there we go, and this is... Amara, she looks a ridiculous amount like her dad, but she also looks a lot like her mom, too, especially with the little ears and everything else in the size, basically. <laughs> All right, so now poor Amara and poor Saki are going to have to leave us, unfortunately. So let's quickly uh, manage worlds here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to transfer these dogs to some of our favorite family members, or at least some of our... I don't know if I want to say youngest family members, but something like that. We're going to give them to the people who are... Um, I guess we can give them to our brothers, right? Yeah, you know what? That would probably be a good idea. So let's see. We are going to go to manage households here. And as you can see, we have all the households. So we're going to go ahead and drop one. Let's see. Oh, man. He did go to leave, live with uh, the vampires over there. So I guess they can have a dog. Sure. Uh, that's Jisoo. Wait, that's not one of our brothers. This is one of our brothers, isn't it? Yeah. Ugh. I did not oh, mean to do that. My bad, right. you guys. Uh, it's been a while since I played The Sims, so my apologies. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Transfer between. There we go. That's Daniel. Uh-huh. And I want to see my household here. We're going to go ahead and give them... Oh, that is such a sweet face. All right, you're going to get the sweet face dog just because. And let's see. Since you're living alone, I guess you could use a dog for sure, for sure. So let's go ahead and give you... Saki, there we go. So now our family has, uh, all our family members have dogs, just like we do. Oh, look at that. Why do they almost look like a couple? That's kind of creepy. Not gonna lie, because they're related, right? They're really, let me see, hmm. Yeah, they're cousins, you guys. So that's super creepy. Anyway, let's just, um, uh, forget that ever happened and pretend like that did not actually look that way. And we are going to go ahead and, let's see, what are we doing here? We're, we're eating. Of course we're eating. All right, so let's toss this away. So the reason why this bin doesn't give us any money is because the bin is not on a home lot. It's not on a residential lot. Only when it's on a residential lot does it give you money now. I know it used to work before, like on any lot, but now it doesn't. So, I mean, it's whatever. We don't really need that. Uh-oh. 
Like almost all pets, Miko can get inexplicably obsessed about things around the house. Keep an eye on your furry companions to discover their... I mean, oh, is it the... It's a TV now. She's obsessed with the TV. Oh my gosh. First the fridge, now the TV. Miko, I don't know what to do with you. Let's just give you some love here because uh, clearly, clearly you need that. Let's, uh, yeah, let's let you look my face just because I figured you'll probably enjoy that a little bit too much. For sure. Uh, oh, are you feeling lonely over there, Akira? Is that what's going on? I know we're feeling lonely. We could probably do with, uh... A little someone in our lives, so we'll definitely consider that in this episode, especially once we, you know, open up for business. We'll just look at the, uh, the patient's owners as just owners. What the what just happened? Oh, we felt the love! Aha! So feeling the love is part of this. Aha! I completely forgot about that. Also, we still have to successfully train out one misbehavior and, hmm, become companions. There we go! Well, that one was easy. <laughs> I completely forgot that we were that close. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right away. And hey, there we go. Oh, yes, we are the bestest of friends. Yes, we are. We totally are. Awesome. Who's a good boy, Akira? Who's a good boy? Yeah, he's totally a good boy, though. All right, so can we feel the love again? I don't know. I feel like uh, we recently did that, so it might not be a thing. Oh, what? Hmm. Chloe? Where's Chloe? I don't even want, I don't even want to know. Alright, so we have a lot of money once again, but I feel like, I don't know, maybe we do need some more decorations. Okay, honestly speaking, yeah, maybe we don't have all the windows that I wanted up in here or anything like that. Especially upstairs, yeah, that's not even close to being decorated. So sure, we could go for some more windows for sure, for sure. Let's see. How do we want to do this? I mean, we could probably just uh, drop some windows up in here. Let's just change this to be a little bit brighter so we can see what we're doing. We could do this, because I really like that look overall. And then we could probably do something like, um, I want to say like that. I don't want to bring it all the way to the edge, but I might just because that might look cool. However, we do have these little ledges here, which make me kind of want to do, um... Some kind of patio situation there, but I don't know if that's going to be the best use of our money. Or, you know, the best uh, use of our space overall. So I don't know if I'm, <laughs> if I'm adding too many windows, but I do love me some windows. I love the spacious uh, look of things when they have just a bunch of windows. So, hey, don't judge me. <laughs> really, like, don't judge me. The windows are cool. That, however, I am going to have to move it. Um... I'm going to be fine there. I might have to just uh, do some wall like somewhere here in the middle, but I have not really gotten to that point just yet. So, hey, it's a work in the making for sure, for sure. And then back here, what are we going to do? We're going to do... We could do this. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I didn't actually do any windows back here. That's a little bit sad and a little bit... Aha! That's why, because none fit really under the stairs. We could do something like that here or like here. I would do like both of them like that just because that'll add some uh, nice lighting that's very much needed toward the back of this building. Sure, I'll take it, even though, you know, there's like nothing here. And as for up in here, we could do... Really? That door is, is like that? That door is really like that? Oh, that is atrocious, you guys. What is with some of these doors? Alright, as much as I wanted to keep this door, I guess not. What do we have going on back here? Ah, this one. All right, fine. Just because it works. Uh, there we go. And so this is our... Uh, wasn't this supposed to look like some kind of log cabin? <laughs> Whoops. Clearly, I uh, totally ignored that part. And wherever we end up ha putting a bathroom, I will change things around. But I love the idea of something that's just very bright and light and just full of life overall. Alright, so what I wanted to do for this area over here is I wanted to add some more seating. Just because I feel like people are always just hovering around their pets and that is not okay with me. So please stop hovering, just sit down, be quiet, and don't yell at us for uh, maybe just poking your pet a little bit. Not even hurting, just poking them a little bit and you're just like, <laughs> Like, yeah, relax. We know what we're doing. We're not trying to hurt them. At least on a purpose. Okay? Okay. Alright, so for, let's see, hmm, honestly, this is properly decorated all around. Maybe these rooms do need a little bit of love, though. Let's be honest here. These rooms need maybe a little touch of something more. So, wow, is this one dark or what? It has a window. It's fine. Alright, so what I want to do for these rooms is I did want to add a chair. I really like this one, but do I really want to keep using these chairs? Maybe not. Eh, maybe so. You know what? We've got, we got them all on a sale. 
buy like 50 of them and get a discount, basically. All right, so this is where they can sit down and shut up to just in case. Again, I'm very much not a fan of people just uh, standing up to try to tell us what to do. This is our job. We know what we're doing. And this chair is intersecting some objects. Oh, no. Will a chair fit in here? I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, like, maybe tucked in the corner like this, but not... Oh, it fits there. That's fine with me. Sure, we can even add some plants up in here if we need to, just to make things look super extra nice. And let's see, another chair tucked up in there, and another chair tucked up... I guess I could put it here. I could put it here as well. I kind of like it over here, just because I'm pretty sure that's where our windows are. And in the rooms... You know what I would really like? I would like some carpeting, just because if we put it under there, that's going to make it so that the, if the pet's dirty things... We can clean it up. Ooh, a comfortable plush rug. I don't know if you love this one, especially there. It seems a little bit too, um, weird. Does it seem weird? Yeah, maybe we shouldn't put any rugs there just because it seems a little bit bizarre to do it, especially since we already have a mat there and everything else. All right, never mind. It was a thaw, you guys. It was a thaw. Also, I really like this one. That is so cute. All right, so decorationing of the rooms we have some lights we have a seat i mean honestly we probably could use with some counters along the wall somewhere over here but will that actually work hmm let's see i have some counters upstairs let me grab that right quick counters yeah and we could do that can we do it against this one new no, because it's in the way of where we're meant to stand however let's just drop one up in here if we were to push this back a little bit can we do this here mm. interesting wait what what the heck is on the wall? It's just the... Oh, is, is it that? It's, it's totally that. Are you kidding me right now? All right. How about if we just bring this up a little bit? Uh-huh. And let's bring this guy in now. For reals? For really? That's... That's what was in the way. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. Sometimes that happens and it's just... It's okay the way it is. All right. So there we can put some other, other medication stuff and things and whatnot. And let's see, we could even do the same thing maybe on the corner here, just to make it look a little bit different. You know, vary the rooms a little bit. So let's do that, and oh, my bad, I meant to do this one here. Why are you not connecting? Please connect. Fine, I guess I'll do it like that, just because that works. And somehow these two, oh gosh, there was a door in the way that I didn't realize was in the way. My bad. All right, good. There's uh, two rooms there. Let's see the third room. I suppose we could do it behind just because there's really going to be nothing there. And in this room, you can go ahead and do it right in the... Si oh, we could do it here, but I don't really like that. I like it right over here, but of course, this guy's in the way again. So we're going to bump that up. Not that far. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. All right, and we have some counter space here for some trinkets and whatnot once we actually get to, you know, decorating it with trinkets. But of course, I'm going to save my money because now is not the time for that. Let's move this back a little bit just so it looks like we have some more space. And that should do it. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it works. That totally works. All right, so how about back here because this room is, for some reason, very, very, very dark. Let me go ahead and buy another light. And, I mean, overall, it doesn't really look like we have space for counters. I mean, we could try to do it there, but it's really not going to work. Yeah, no, I'm going to delete that surgery room just like it is. It is what it is, and, well, we have to deal with it. And now, for the grand area, let's see. What color flooring do I want in my home? I guess, you know what, just because I love everything being super dark, yeah, we're going to do that. Alright, so now we can go ahead and make some rooms, but the first room that I want to make, for sure, for sure is the bathroom just because you know the puppies are always like rawr, 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 at the toilet and whatnot and i just don't want that happening anymore so bathroom let's make a pretty big one just because we can right just because we can all right so let's color that all up for now we can change the walls later i'm not really too concerned with that and is this really that big not exactly but it will you know give some room for a tub and things like that so that's gonna be kind of nice all right, so let's do something like, hmm. Well, for now, we can do this. <laughs> Everybody entering can see you peeing. That is absolutely what I wanted. Totally, you guys, 100%. And we'll do the tub later on, basically. All right, so now I just need a teeny weeny little door. What doors are we using down here? Ah. Uh, yeah, no, you know, not exactly that kind of door at all. I wanted the, um, these guys right here. 
go for the dark one. Let's go ahead and do something like that. And we could even do something like this. But the only thing is that with this idea, probably was meant to go in the middle is like um, counters and a sink. So maybe this shower is going to have to go at some point. But I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Once we get a proper tub and maybe even a sink, just because all we really need right now is a, well, this stuff here. I don't even want a sink, let's be honest with ourselves. If we were to get a sink, you know what's going to happen. All oh, it's the washing the hands and bloody schmitty things that don't really matter. All right, so let's get a second dog bed, though, just because we have two dogs. Hmm. Let's actually do something like this. Let's scoot you over. There we go. And, well, we have a little bit more money, but I would prefer to spend that money on making more treats rather than, you know, on home furnishing. So that, uh oh <laughs> uh, Lovely. Always gotta love it, you guys. Forgot, completely forgot to light up the bathroom. There we go. Problem solved. And that's good. Okay, so we are having... We're getting close, you guys. We're getting super, super close to having a properly uh, outfitted clinic. Oh, my gosh. I love the way this looks, actually. Like, oh, I did it on both sides. <laughs> ah, perfect. Just perfect. All right. So, um, all right. How are we looking in terms of treats? Because that's one thing I can't remember. Five. I mean, that's a good start, but it's not enough. So, let's go ahead and make some more ambrosia treats up in here, which means a lot of transferring money. Let's go for... Uh, 1500 I guess, because we're going to need some money to start with after we open up, so that should be fine, and let's just continue crafting treats until it is time to open for business. Oh my gosh, you guys, we can actually get rid of dead plants. Thank goodness. So we have those queued up, and we're going to sleep for just a little bit, maybe an hour or two, just so we can get that energy all the way up. And then we'll for sure, for sure open for business. Part of what I don't really like about the layout of this thing is we have to always go all the way around. So I'm thinking I may be able to do a little bit of a something something with this and attach some stairs back over here as well, just because it's, it's getting annoying. However, that means we're going to have to get rid of these windows and things are going to be a little bit weird. And I really don't know if I want to do that. We... Oh my gosh, we slept for a very long time. All right, let's go ahead and open up for business. Make sure that everything is okay. What are you doing? You're thinking about your family member. All right, I mean, that's fine. Not judging in any way, shape, or form, but, uh, oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, here we go again. Complain, complain. What are you, oh, hold the phone, dude. Why are you thinking about, oh, we, have, we got a new door. Aha. I was like, why are you thinking about my bed? Don't think about my bed. My bed is only for me and nobody else, so get out. All right, so let's see what we can do about making a few more treats just so we can have at least 10 to sell for today because we have currently eight of them. Yeah, dude, where you're not going up. Where? Whoa, ho, hold. Oh, for a second. I, yeah, you're going to be mad. Guess what? This is not where you're meant to go to sleep. Go to go home. Go home if you don't want to work. Ugh, this dude, I swear. Ugh. So frustrating. Look at these two. They're, like, they're getting ready for work and everything, and he's just like getting mad because he wants to sleep. Ugh, some people, I swear. <clears throat> some vampires, I swear. Ugh. Whatever, all right, so two more treats coming right up. It seems like we have more than enough employees who are ready and willing to work. And that should maybe take care of... <gasps> <gasps> I knew it! I knew it would happen! I knew that would not be the end of Amara, but why is she here? I really hope she's not sick. Oh my gosh, you guys. Poor Mara's back. Well, there we go. We're seeing our family member, and that's, um, Chihyo's dad is right over here, this annoying guy. Yep, yeah, mm hmm. Unfortunately for her. <laughs> and where are you going, sir? Let's see. Are you going to take care of Akira? Is that what you want to do? All right, fine. I'll let it happen just because. All right, so let's go ahead and drop our trees up in there, and you, lady. Hmm. I think we did mention at some point that we might have wanted to start a relationship with her. So I will, you know, say what's up just to see if maybe she's interested. We never know. But I do want to check Amara just to make sure she's okay. Where where did she go? Oh, she eating. She's eating. All right, fine. You know what? Let's, um, great patient. Uh -huh. Even though, you know, we know this dog. We are very close with this dog. Hey, people are buying treats. Nobody was at the fridge. What is going on? I don't know, but whatever. I'm going to accept it. All right, there we go. Ten treats total for the day. Yes. What? We just lost our friendship? No! What? Game? Why would you... Ugh, whatever. 
I can't always win them now, can we? All right, I really hope you're okay, Amara. Let's see, let's, uh, you're pretty calm right now, so let's just check your ears. Oh my gosh, she said, she has the sweetest face ever. Look at that, she's just like, oh, I'm just calm, I'm just chill. Hey, Dad, what's up? Oh, Dad wants to go on a walk. Oh, wow, we figured everything out. Oh, it was just a regular checkup. All right, that makes me pretty happy not to know that, you know, she's being well taken care of. All right, so let's give her that preventative. <laughs> she's like, what the heck did you just do to me? Yeah, I know, Amara. It sucks sometimes, but it happens, okay? It happens. All right, so we're going to apparently sucker our family now out of uh, money. Thank you for the money. Are we not actually going to charge her? <gasps> did we charge her? Pretty sure we didn't. She just went to throw away the trash, and now we can't actually charge her. What is going on? Uh, excuse me, game. What are you trying to do? Oh, we can't even go in there now. Ugh. Uh, well, you win some, you lose some, I guess, since apparently we don't want to collect money from her. This might just be a case of, uh, let me not, uh, let me restart the game. But anyway, first up, let's just, uh, brighten her day, see what's going on with her. Yeah, let's uh, say hello here with a heartful compliment, and let's uh, praise, praise her for her lifestyle. No. Let's ask her about her career, see if she has something nice and stable going on for her. I don't know. You know, we have kind of something stable going on for us. We've been earning quite a bit of money, at least I would say so. I don't know if, you know, you guys would agree there. Oh my gosh, this poor guy. He Oh, she's a caterer. Nice. Um, still with false confidence. Hey, we're not that rude. All right, fine. You know what? I'm gonna take you on a walk, and you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna just relax. Okay, let's go on a walk here. Let's go on a medium walk, just so we can try to make you happy. Especially since we apparently cannot collect money, and that might just be case for restart the game. Oh, jeez, I first day back, and of course we're having problems. Lovely. Reloaded the game, and no money. Hmm. Well, uh, oh, we can examine her. What? But, okay, so we just lost somebody. We uh, are able to examine her again, even though I'm pretty sure she's going to be okay. But sure, whatever. If we get the money from this, doesn't matter. Now, does it? Where where are we anyway? We're just chilling right now. Uh, can we? Oh, boy. Let's try to reset this kid because oh, I don't know what's going on with him. What's his name? <laughs> what's his name? Reset Sim Dennis Fang. There we go. Yeah, you, you dropped that. All right, good. Oh, Amara. Sweet, sweet Amara. Let's try this again. Hopefully, we'll be able to. Wow, people are buying treats up, like by the dozens, it seems. All right, let's see if we can figure you out. We already know what's wrong with you. Di okay, so can we treat you to just a preventative shot again? It seems like that might not be the thing. We might have to give her a cone of shame just because that's basically the only thing we can do. All right, come on, shame it is. Yeah, there we go. You're fine. <laughs> Let's collect our money, even though we were basically owed a lot more than that. But whatever, you know, it's family. So family basically uh, ended up stealing from us in the long run. Huh? Oh, boy. Are we out of treats now? Yeah, that is never good. Okay, so let's go instantly to crafting some stuff here. How much money do we have over here? <laughs> uh, okay, I like that. I like that a lot. As you can tell with my hearty chuckle. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and craft some more ambrosia treats up in here. And hopefully everybody's okay. Um, Who's this? He looks very familiar. Atticus Barrett, and your dog is Felix. I don't know who you are, but you look super familiar, and you are- Ah! <gasps> is this is this her out here, or is that Miko? Because I, I don't know, they both look alike. That's Miko. Where is Saki? 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 Where? Let's see. Oh my gosh, she's blue! She's blue! That's why I couldn't tell that was her! Oh, poor Saki's actually sick, you guys! Oh no! Well, I mean, by giving our uh, family pets, we suddenly are making ourselves some more money. So, I mean, that's not half bad. That's not a half bad type thing. Miko, are you actually digging for things on your own? Oh my gosh, you good dog. Who's a good girl? Oh man, she's so good, you guys. I love Miko. Miko is like the best dog anyone could ever ask for. And now she's dirty. Okay, I take, I take it back part of the way there, just because now we have to actually bathe her. But, you know, if this is worth it, it might be okay. Alright, so let's finish up some more treats here and see if that'll be good for us. Where are you going with that? We have got to open that up, like, as soon as possible. But, of course, treats first, just because it seems like people are like, B Dude, we just stuck that in there! Relax! Oh my gosh! 
Well, I guess this is fine. Oh, you poor, poor thing. I'll check you out in a second. Don't worry. Can you please go to work, dude? He's just, like, hanging out here, like, trying to talk with us. Like, no, dude, I don't want to talk to you. Ugh, frustrating. All right, so let's put that up in there, and let's see. Who all is angry in here? Hmm. Well, I guess we could go and see. Is he at a... No, he's not at a two. Ugh, fine, we'll have to greet one of these guys first, just because somebody's not exactly doing their job. A broken fossil. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Nico. Uh, whatever, it works. Alright, so let's... Oh, we needed to go to the toilet. My bad, didn't realize that was the case here. And... You did Wait, did that guy walk out? Is that what happened? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Alright, so let's try you instead. Mm-hmm. And, no, I'm sorry, we have a very busy day right now. We are, uh, we have a lot of stuff to do here. Who is this lady? I've never seen somebody with that hair. Like, ever. <laughs> okay, sure. Ooh, he has a one star. Okay, well, let's hurry this up, kitty. Come on. Hop up on here before your owner starts freaking out on us, because that would not be okay. Like, not in a million years, okay? And let's see, what's going on with you, sir? Oh, jeez, of course he's getting off. <sighs> Come on, Bart. Yeah, I know. That's that's your cat being annoying. Not me. That's your cat. No. Bad. Get off of there. Get uh, get over here. <sighs> you guys, cats, I, I, I just, I cannot. This is why I'm not allowing my own cat to be in this room, because he would be just like that. Alright, let's try that again, huh? Oh, man, if only, <laughs> if only we could be just a dog clinic. Not, nothing against cats, but like, seriously, they tend to be the worst patients. And then it's just not okay. Also, I realize that there are a lot of very dirty dogs here that people just like, try to, um... Try to treat for a very long time, and they just never finish treating them, which is a little bit weird. And I don't really like it. So I'm thinking that maybe we need to make a place where people can just go and wash their dogs randomly just because that might help us out in the long run. So that's definitely something to think about. At least at some point, you know, maybe if we have enough money or something like that. I don't know. All right, so let's see. Calm down there. We go, good kitty. And let's check your ears. Let's check your temperature. And let's get you out of here as soon as possible. Please and thank you. And is anybody actually checking out our little uh, blue dog? Let's see. Blue doggy, right over here. I am so sorry, Saki. I could not actually check you out. All right, so Gilded Gus Disorder. Can you poop for me just a little bit? I'd like to sell your poop. Thanks. <laughs> oh, if only. If only, you guys. All right, there we go. A little bit of treatment. Give me your money. Thank you. And get out of here. All right, so this place is looking actually pretty messy. As is usual. So let's go ahead and start cleaning routine here. And some people are actually getting pretty mad. It seems like our wait times are not really that great. So I guess let's take care of that. Which is surprising because we have four rooms. We have four vets. Like why is this not really working out that well for us? Maybe it's because of him. Somebody needs a little bit of a firing. Hmm. Well, let's do it. Let's do it just because he absolutely sucks at his job. And it seems like no matter what, you know, these guys, right on the ball. Him, never. He's just like, what are you doing? Uh, Junki, I am so, so sorry, but I cannot have you working for us anymore. You are ruining the reputation of this clinic. You are making everything, like, hectic over here. And people are giving us bad ratings just because you decided not to see any patients ever. Okay, I'm sorry. We are family still, but still, just, just no. We cannot do this. Oh, you guys, I didn't want to do that yet. Look at that. We are two and a half stars now. I don't even know if I should be blaming him. So, Kai, you seem like the next best option here, just because you have a little bit of charisma. So, sure, let's put you on uh, our uh, roster here, and hopefully you can do something for us that's going to be beautiful and exemplary so that you could so you could just show this guy up all right so let's see we can dismiss you don't want to can we actually greet you yes we can all right let's try greeting another patient here and hopefully we can get them out as soon as possible oh she's back maybe we can do a little bit of talking with her soon because it seems like she always she loves our dogs that's a good sign right you guys that's definitely a good sign all right and is kai here he is here all right good sign as well Let's see, what's going on with you, Doodle? What a cute name. Wait, what happened with the dog that was here? Oh, somebody's in heat and somebody's very dirty. Yeah. 
need to make a place for uh, cleaning dogs because that is just. I wish. I wish there was a groomer though, like uh, uh like, I don't know, groomer career or something like that, because that would work out super super well. All right, throb paw disease. Let's treat you right away. There we go, and we have got to get you out of here, Blue. Uh, oh, we can begin procedure on you. Sure. Let's just begin examining you though, because uh, that's probably gonna be the easiest thing. Did we collect our money? Yes, we did. Good. All right, let's get Blue the heck out of here, and hey, there we go, our rating increase, thank goodness. And we're gonna just, oops, <laughs> wrong thing, this allow new customers, there we go. Gotta make sure that nobody else shows up so that way we can have some time alone with Katarina, if possible, because that would be most excellent. All right, so let's try this again, because um, I have no idea what's going on with her. Let's soothe you down, and hopefully this will be fine. Okay, just calm down, Blue. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be okay. This is not the end of the world. There we go. And let's take your temperature right quick. Let's check your mouth, because clearly there's something very wrong with your mouth. And let's check your skin, just because we might need to. Alright, so unknown, unknown, and unknown. Pretty sure that's what's gonna... <laughs> of course! Squirrel scratch fever. Feel good serum right away. And let's see, Katarina, where are you? Ah, you're in this room. All right. Well, we can probably take care of that right quick. Grab your money. Thank you. And peace out. All right, Katarina, what's going on? Let's, um, let's see. It looks like her cat is getting taken care of right now, so she's probably going to ignore us for the most part, which sucks. But it happens, you guys. It happens. All right, so let's see. Let's tell... All we can really do is, like, show off our pet to her. Oh, come on. This this environment is really not good for flirting. But are we friends with her? Not even. Hmm. I wonder if she's gonna like this though. <laughs> I mean, could trigger with a hand buzzer, but I'm not sure if she's gonna be, enjo be enjoying that at all. All right, starting trying to get uh, starting to get tired. That's not really good. Does she like it or no? Oh, I don't know. I, it looks like she did. All right. Let's try to scare her. Hopefully, she won't hate that either. Seems like she likes it when we're bad boy to her. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I will consider that for sure, for sure. And let's see. What's going on with you? Begin examining you just so we can get you out of here because it seems like you will be the last one to be examined, even though your owner is being a little bit of a whiny person. But that's okay. We could deal with that. We could definitely deal with that. All right. So, right quick. What is wrong with you? You're blue and you're freezing. Okay. We can take care of that. Let's see. Hmm. Let's calm you down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, seriously, I am just 120% done with you right now. Ugh. Alright, so let's right quick take your temperature, check your skin, and we could probably do one more thing. Let's just check your mouth just because we can. Oh, we don't even need to. Okay, I'm gonna get this. And let's see, Frosty Fur Flu, yeah, you could have told me that. And I would have known. I totally would have known. A two-star rating, please and thank you. No? Well, we tried. Hey, we tried. And that should be all the patients. Let's send everybody away. How much money do we make? Ultimately, a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, our bedside manners are not really good because of what's-his-face. But hey, on the bright side, this guy got the vet skill and you got to level two. So, I mean, this is good. You're unsatisfied, which means you might need a promotion, but that's fine. We'll get there. And oh my gosh, that's never good. That is really not good. <sighs> well, we just have to try harder and hopefully our employees will be okay. We have to maybe train them as well. Just so that, that way we'll get the skills faster and be able to take care of things uh, properly and on a timely basis. Alright, so what do we need? We need a lot of stuff, especially we need to bathe Mika. Are we really going to eat in bed? Oh. Dude, you started your salad, finish eating your salad. This is not a joke right now. Go eat your salad, dude. Go eat your salad. Come on. I believe in you. There we go. All right. Mr. Salad Eater is going to finish his salad, and then he's going to sleep, and, well, I guess poor Miko's going to have to stay stinky for just a little while longer, just because, um, seems like right now is not the time to be uh, catering to her. Okay, seriously. Just sleep properly. Thank you. Uh, Kira is hungry. Do we not have food downstairs? Uh-oh. Uh, SpaghettiOs. All the bowls are empty. No. Sorry, brother. We cannot really chat right now. We have got to feed our dogs. Otherwise, they're going to starve to death, and that is not okay with me. Four bowls. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone. What did that say? Fill all... Five? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Aha. That's why. I was like, five? Really? That's because we're only filling all bowls once. Mm-hmm. All right, well, whatever. This is okay. We have the money, so that's totally fine. Wake up so we can actually do this. It looks like you actually have got a pretty good amount of sleep, so maybe we can give Miko a bath and this poor thing. <sighs> it's actually broken. 
well, we have the money, so let's just, I know, it, it might look like I'm getting a little wasteful, but trust me, it's for the best. Eventually, we'll be able to, I don't know, just do this without even thinking twice about it, right? All right, there we go. Go back to the dock, and we shall go, apparently, to the toilet, because that's where we're going to go. And you, doggy, are going to get a bath in the next episode, because... That is it for this episode of The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs Rags to Riches. If you enjoyed, hit that like button to show your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.